Hello everybody, my name is Chesbo, but you could call me Ethan. Today I'm going to be doing a painting of this Captain Rex bust from Star Wars. Uh, this was given to me as a gift from a good friend of mine named Tristan, who sculpted it out of monster clay for my birthday. And he suggested that I paint it as a way that I could use it since I love to do paintings. So I went ahead and did that, and I'm into this video. So if you'd like to check out Tristan's uh, Instagram, he's got a bunch of very, very cool art here, including the uh, bust he made me which I will take a look at here. Uh, here are some progress photos which he took and uploaded in there. So give him a follow if you like his art because I certainly do and I think it's amazing. And thank you again so much to him for giving that to me. So the thing with monster clay is that it is remoldable, which means once you keep the clay up again, you can remold it into something completely new. So since this type of clay does that, uh, before painting it, I had to make sure that there was an outer shell on it. So I did a coat of primer, and then I think about two clear coats over top of it just to give it extra protection and create a shell-like so that it can properly be painted on, as otherwise the paint would completely come off. I skipped me recording the primer and clear coats and just showed the white paint, which I used as a foundation for the whole paint job. Once I painted the whole thing white, I printed out some jag eyes for his helmet, and then I had a heart attack and died. So after getting back alive and making a deal with God, I started off this paint job by doing the jag eyes, which I printed out as like a little tracer, just because they I wanted to get them really nice and they are pretty difficult to do very nicely on their own. So once I printed those out, I held them up and tried to trace them and then paint them over. Uh, I honestly found found this part of the project to be the most difficult, especially because this is, was very small to just trace. But I ended up accomplishing it in the end and it was completely fine. And I was very happy with the way it actually turned out. Since it's monster clay, like I mentioned before, it is remoldable with uh, heat. My town was so hot that this sculpture started becoming squishy just from the air itself. And I was getting scared. I wanted to put it in the fridge, but the fridge wouldn't fit the thing. So I was just having a hard time with it. But I eventually just moved it into the basement, which was cool enough that it wouldn't be squishy and was safe to paint here. So if you watched my last video painting the car, you'll know that the camera work was absolutely terrible because I didn't have a tripod. But this time I have a tripod, and I believe that I definitely captured the progress much, much better than last time. But I did get my face cutting in here at like the worst possible angle, so that really sucked. But I was not about to do a second paint job just because of that. So I'm honestly pretty happy with the way this turned out. Uh, this is pretty much an experiment for me with camera work as well, and I tried to do good lighting here even though it is a little wonky it's maybe not the best angle but it was the best one I could try to do so honestly I'm really happy with the way that turned out I almost forgot to mention thank you to my friend James for giving me that tripod as it was a big help in making this video uh, he just told me to need it so I definitely do uh, thank you so much So in order to give Captain Rex's brownish dirty look, as his helmet is very like brownish white, it's not really a plain white, I gave the whole helmet a brown wash by taking a bit of water and then mixing brown paint into it and just scrubbing it all over it and not really letting it dry but wiping it off kind of in between. Let it dry a little bit so it actually stays on, don't just you know wipe it off right away, but not so that it's like brown dirt smudges. You just want the white to brown up a bit here just so that it gets a much more accurate and warm look. So 
So here's the final result of the project. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. I'm very happy with it. I think it looked much better than it did in the start. I actually left this project unpainted uh, just as Tristan had made it for quite a while because I thought it just looked so good the way it was. But I'm really happy I ended up doing this paint as it looks even more amazing. I think it complemented his beautiful artwork so well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, check more out and I'll see you in the next video, I suppose. I did not mean to do this. Ah!